Welcome class of 2027. I'm so excited that you have chosen to be an alternate and we couldn't be prouder of all of your accomplishments so far in grade school. My name is Lourdes Lambert and I'm the proud principal at Archbishop Alter High School. And I'm here to welcome you to your first ever course catalog video. When you come to freshman scheduling on March 2nd, you'll receive a hard copy of what we're about to go over. But within this email, you will see your proposed freshman schedule and lots of helpful information for you and your parents. We have our teachers here today to explain all of the options for you to choose for your electives and so you know a little bit more about our class levels in every content area. Please don't hesitate to watch this as many times as you need and please don't hesitate to ask questions. We're here to help you. Remember that the schedule in this email is a proposed schedule and it is based on your grades, your test scores, feedback from your grade school teachers, and we would love your input as well. So I hope you enjoy all that we have to offer at Alter, and I'm excited to see you at the night of celebration and also freshman scheduling in the next two weeks. Hi, freshmen, and welcome. I'm Mrs. Portman, and I'm the department chairperson for the business department. We can't wait to meet you this summer when you come in to pick up your computers and get them set up for the school year. Please sign up using the link provided in the technology information letter that's in your packet. If you have questions, don't hesitate to stop by and see me on registration night. The teachers of the business department look forward to seeing you next year in tech skills and ethics. This class will be tackling the software you need to know to be successful using your computers here at Alter. Can't wait to meet you. Hi, my name is Allison Manfreda and I teach English, um, freshman English. Um, the English department offers three different levels for freshman English, 101, 102, and honors. All three are um, courses that focus on um, introduction to literature and composition, um, and we'll read classics in um, modern literature as well as poetry. The primary difference between all three levels would be pacing and um, independent workload, and then the honors class will have a summer reading assignment. Um, for written expression, we focus heavily on that as well, so timed writing and essays will be um, a large part of our work. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, thank you. Hello, future altar artists. My name is Mr. Eric Hall, and today I'm gonna to be talking a little bit about Art Foundations 1 and Art Foundations 2. These are both courses you can take as a freshman here at Alter High School, and what these courses really do is build upon the foundations of elements and principles of design. And in these classes, it is a springboard to all the other variety of classes we teach here at Alter High School, including ceramics, product design, fashion, those classes you will see in the course catalog. Most importantly, these classes are here to help you build creativity and problem solving that branches out into every class we here, have here at Alter, including science, math, history, and all the departments you might take here at Alter High School. So I can't wait to see you, and I'm excited to teach you how to express yourself here at Alter High School. Hi, I'm Mrs. Weisscup and I teach the dance classes here. We offer tap, ballet, and jazz. You do not have to have any experience, but you do have to start with a level one. We do build up from there. Uh, like I said, you don't have to have any experience, but you do have to like physical movement and you would like to put effort into my class. Looking forward to seeing you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hacker, and I'm one of the math teachers here at Alter, and I have the privilege of teaching a lot of freshmen and sophomores this year. So um, just to let you know, to graduate from high school, um, you need to complete Algebra 1, Geometry, and Algebra 2. Um, most students start in one of those courses. There is a pre-algebra course that we're offering next year. If you don't feel like you're quite ready for Algebra 1, you can take that first. 
um, you are not selecting just a course. You're also going to be selecting a level. Um, and a lot of people have been talking about this. Um, do you want harder problems, math problems specifically, and you only want a day or two to review before the test in class? Um, then maybe the honors level will be good for you. Do you want um, you know, more time to review in class on one topic? Then the O1 level might be better for you. And then if you feel you want something in between, then the O2 level would be for you. And these level uh, selections um, are decided by your eighth grade teacher recommendations, your high school placement test, and of course discussions that you, your parents, uh, teachers can all have with us. So please come to Freshman Scheduling and we can talk about exactly what would be the best fit for you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Butler, and I teach the freshman biology classes. All freshmen take biology. There are three levels of biology. So as the other teachers have already said, some of your, your placements are, are made by your Iowa scores, by your junior high teachers. And you can have an honors class. The honors class is going to be a little bit faster, a little bit more detail, and you'll do science fair. Your B level is the college prep level, and then we have a C level. It still covers the same content, but just less detail and a little bit slower. Thank you very much. Hey, class of 2027. My name is Alex Schuster, and I'm the Social Studies Department Chair and Freshman World Studies and Honors World Studies teacher. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about your options uh, for freshman year in social studies. So all freshmen here at Alter take World Studies uh, or Honors World Studies. Uh, the primary difference between the two courses uh, is the pacing of the course and a little bit of the content that we cover in both classes. Uh, for students that are thinking about taking an AP course uh, in Social Studies down the line, since there is not an AP option available for freshmen in Social Studies, uh, and sometimes the honors course is, is a good place to start uh, with that. Um, you do have the opportunity to move up, up levels in between school years based on uh, your adjustment and, and how well uh, you feel you go uh, with your social studies course freshman year. Both are very interesting courses, uh, a lot of fun to teach, and we do a lot of fun things in both courses. Uh, we cover all kinds of things from ancient history to more recent history up through the World Wars and the Cold War and, and even some contemporary events. So looking very forward to seeing all of you uh, in, uh, in the fall of, of 2023 and go Knights. Hey future Knights, I'm Mr. Romer and I teach theology here at Alter High School and a formerly class of 2016 graduate. And I'm really excited to have you especially because freshman year is focused on the Bible. So whether you've been to Catholic schooling for a long time or this is your first year in private school, I want to welcome you to encouraging to study the scriptures and digging deep into what is the Bible, um, how is it set up, why does it matter, but also equipping you with the skills and how to create a prayer life. I'm looking forward to encouraging spiritual and academic growth with you here at Alter. Guten Tag, bonjour, buenos dias. My name is Frau Morris and I'm the German teacher here at Alter High School. We offer three languages, French, German, and Spanish. Each language has five levels, levels one through five, with four and five as honor classes. We encourage students at Alter to take a language. Freshmen can take level one in French, German, and Spanish. Students may also take level two in French, German, and Spanish. Eighth grade teachers may recommend a level. We also offer a Spanish placement test at our feeder schools. This test uh, will assist with placement in either Spanish one or two. It is especially important for colleges and universities to see students taking a language as long as possible. To receive an honors diploma, you need to take three years of one language or two years of one language on two years of another language, such as Spanish and German, with uh, very good grades. Learning um, a language is fun and it enhances your 
listening skills, memory, and it provides wonderful new uh, cultural experiences and new friends. For questions, please see Madame Newman. For French, Senora Morris and Senorita Hoffman. For Spanish, please see me, Frau Morris, for questions about German. Au revoir, au wiedersehen, adios. Hi, my name is Heather Dunn, and I wanted to introduce myself to you all as the Director of Campus Ministry here at Alter High School. Um, I'm starting my second year, um, so I'm still learning and growing with you all as well. And I actually will have a wonderful opportunity to um, meet you guys in a different way. Um, you guys will have a freshman first day in August, so you get to come into the school before any of the other students. You get to walk your schedule, so it's less um, intimidating with all the other students there. And then for the second half of the day, we actually do a retreat. So we talk about um, it's kind of a similar question. Who do you want to be in four years when you graduate? And how can we help you meet your spiritual goals? And um, how can we support you in your spiritual journey? Um, and then I get another opportunity to work with you as well in the following spring when we have a freshman retreat. So our freshman retreat um, is a retreat day just for freshmen in April of um, 2024 um, at the end of your freshman year. And we'll go out and do service projects together um, and pray together and spend that day as well. So I look forward to getting to know many of you. Um, my office is behind the chapel and I'm always here to pray with and for you. Um, and I'm excited to meet you all. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Mrs. Sears and I am the theater director and drama teacher here at Alter. I am so excited that you are coming to Alter. So I wanna give you just a little bit of information about theater classes that we offer here for you as freshmen. So you can start with Theater 101, which is our building block class, and we can go to Acting 1, or you can go to Triple Threat 1, which is singing, dancing, and acting. And you can go either way throughout the years that you are here. Now, if you don't like to get up and you don't like to have fun, this is not the class for you. But if you want to jump out of your shell and be challenged in new ways and find new growth and confidence, this is the class for you. So I want to see you in class. If you are also interested in performing on stage or helping backstage or something with tech, then also we have the Castle Players, which we rehearse after school, and we have a fall play, a winter production, a spring musical, and new last year, a lip sync battle from the faculty and staff, which was super, super fun. So please email me any questions that you have, and I am so excited that you are an alternate. Hi, my name is Todd Tucker, and I am the Director of Bands and Fine Arts Department Chair here at Alter High School. I'm going to take just a moment to tell you a little bit about our music offerings here at Alter High School. Um, of course, we have our band classes. Those are for brass, woodwind, percussion, as well as string players and piano players and bass players. Uh, so a little bit uh, uh, for everyone if you play an instrument, um, as well as being members of uh, our concert band class, these folks also have an opportunity to be involved with our marching band as well. Um, these are co-curricular classes, meaning they have classes during the day and opportunities after school. Uh, in the fall, uh, most of the after school opportunities are associated with the marching band class. Uh, and then in the spring, most of those are associated with our concert band, our jazz ensemble, our pep band, uh, as, as well. And so if you're an instrumentalist, these are some opportunities that you have. Um, we also have our visual ensemble. These are our color guard classes. Uh, and these uh, folks participate with the marching band in the fall for visual ensemble one. And then visual ensemble two in the spring, uh, they have an opportunity to compete on their own. And those classes uh, are competitive, uh, obviously. Uh, and they are co-curricular as well, so classes during the day and after school. Um, and uh, they uh, involve dance, uh, modern movement, and working with equipment like flags and, and sabers and rifles. Um, additionally, instrumental classes include our jazz improv class. One prerequisite for jazz improv is that you already play an instrument. Uh, and this is where you learn the skill of reading chords and improvising, making up your own music over those chord changes. But it is important that you do come in uh, with the skill to already play an instrument. Um, some of our popular sort of non-instrumental classes are music tech classes. So I have a music tech one and music tech two. Um, these are project-based classes 
all music is created on just your computer. So you don't need to know how to play an instrument. Um, if you do, that's great. But if the only thing you need to, uh, to do is bring your computer uh, and, and learn, uh, we create and edit all music in class. It's a lot of fun, very popular classes. And then our other class is music appreciation and history. Uh, and that deals with, uh, you know, music and society through the years, where music has come from and where it's going and how it has cultural uh, effects throughout the world. And so those are some of our offerings within the music department. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Again, Todd Tucker, Director of Bands and Fine Arts Department Chair. future alternates. Um, my name is Mrs. Shannon Brown and I'm one of the two school guidance counselors here at Alter High School. Um, I work with students last names A through L and the other counselor works with students last names N through Z and that is Miss Kristen Hammaker. Um, the reason why we split the alphabet in half is so that we get to have you I guess for all four years we, and that is an awesome opportunity for us to really get to know you well, you get to know us. Um, and we're really here for everything that you might need, whether it's academics, social, emotional, um, college, career, really the whole gamut, whatever you may need, um, we're here for you. Our offices are very accessible to the students. Our doors literally open into the hallway, so students are always welcome to pop in anytime. Um, they may be walking by between classes, um, or they can schedule an appointment with us. Um, in your email, there is a proposed schedule that will look something like this. I know this is very small for you to see, um, but I wanted to kind of talk about the back of the schedule. So on the back, there are your elective options. There are certain classes that you do have to take for graduation requirements, um, but you will have some options. So make sure you look at this. But I also want to point out that there are some classes on here that are going to be full year. So that is going to take up a spot both first and second semester. So please be mindful of that as you're selecting your courses. Um, we also recommend that students, especially freshmen, um, consider taking a study hall their freshman year, at least one of the semesters, if not both, because eight periods in a day is a lot. Um, and to have eight classes can be overwhelming. So we definitely recommend taking at least a study hall one semester, um, especially for our athletes. I know with practices and games, it can be overwhelming. So many students will take a study hall during their um, season. Speaking of athletes, um, if you are participating in a sport at Alter, there is an option to waive your PE graduation requirement through a form that you can obtain in the guidance office. Um, you would need to complete two seasons and your requirement for graduation will be waived. To go along with our athletes, um, if you are considering long-term that you want to look at competing at the college level um, at potentially a D1, D2 school with the NCAA, um, we do in our wonderful course catalog have the courses in here that are labeled with the NCAA icon that will let you know what classes are eligible for the NCAA um, and that's really important in your planning. Um, another thing that I want to touch on are just the different graduation options at Alter. Um, one in particular would be graduating with um, an honors diploma and that's something that you need to start with your freshman year and planning out um, there are also other programs that have academic requirements that are all listed in this um, in the course catalog, so make sure you check that out as well. Um, I'm very excited to work with you over the next four years, um, and we're going to wrap it up with Mrs. Lambert. Thank you. I hope this video gave you a taste of the faith, pride, and spirit that is Alter. We can't wait for you to join our community. We have so many options and opportunities for you all to grow and become who you're going to be over the next four years. We can't wait to walk on this journey with you. I am looking forward to seeing you. Please don't hesitate to reach out with questions. May God bless you and go Knights.